la 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 Greetings, whoever's there. Somebody's here. Steady Eddie here in a glorious, lovely, lovely, glorious day in an old favourite uh, uh, here. Uh, back in Udantani, soaking up the sun. Let me just clear my glasses first of all in a minute. <clears throat> oh, lovely, lovely place here. Taking a nice San Miguel as well. It does make the difference that San Miguel, if you drink that regularly, you know, it makes a difference on, you know, your calorie intake. I probably gained a couple of pounds with all that, <coughs> uh, you know, Lao, even though it's nice. You know, it's, it's not good for your waistline. Jim Collins, nice to hear from you, mate. Nice to hear from you. Dave the Dash is here. Uh, doesn't that sound like a comic character, Dave? Dave the Dash, yeah, love it. Nice to hear from you, mate. Dave the Dash, I love you, Don Tony. Do you know something? I, I, I like this place. I don't say I love it yet, but this is a good place. Richard Ohio, I'd loud and clear from Singapore. Okay, great to hear from you, mate. Great to hear from you. Barry, Barry from East End, off to Siago tomorrow. I said, I meant to be lovely, Paddy. Siago, now where is that? That sounds so, so the Spanish. Is that, is that the Philippines by any chance? Eddie, are you missing the Bay of Lao? Well, I do like the Bay of Lao a lot, but it's. Um, San Miguel is better on the calories, definitely. I've probably gained a couple of pounds in, in Lao. Stephen O'Connor, greeting some non pen. Nice to hear from you, Steve. Hope all's right. Oh, all's well. People keep wondering what it is that I like about Cambodia. Well, I love Siam Reap because Siam Reap's a lovely town. And in the past, I've really, really loved Phnom pen. I'm going to be heading to Cambodia. I don't know when, but it will be in the not too distant future. Oh, Paul's well, mate. Anders Bergen, yeah, done, thumbs up. Thank you, Anders Bergen. That's brilliant. Really, really good to hear from you. <clears throat> Paul, okay. Morning, Eddie from a cool stove. Sun up at 6 30. Hope you're good. I'm okay. I'm okay because I've arrived back in, I'm, I'm back in Thailand now. And um, Lao, I've still got a couple of videos to put out uh, at Lao. But you know, you've got to be realistic. I mean, what, what works well in this channel? I mean, if I do a video, as soon as I include the word temple, as soon as I include that word in the title, the viewing figures go down. You know, I, I think it's, I think temples are cool, but there's not really a lot of interest in them. John, John K, good afternoon. They're back on the, those naftai days, hard times. Okay, David Coleman. Oh yeah, I'm happy to see you. It's 2.30 a.m. in Toronto. Um, so you're 11 at... 2.30 a.m. So you're 11 hours behind where I am now. Um, two, you're 11 hours behind where, where I am, but I'm set, we're seven hours ahead of England. So you're just four hours ahead of England? Behind England? Oh, anyway, nice to hear from you. Asia, Asia night. Stiago is Southeast Philippines. Yes. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that one. Yeah. I thought that was kind of a Spanish uh, uh, you know, sounds here. Martin Saunders. Good day, Eddie. Here, watching from New Zealand. Okay, cool. That's cool. There's a lot going on, isn't it? Those two New Zealand. We, we discussed this last week. Um, oh, it was about a week ago, wasn't it? About all the terrible happenings in Thailand, and it's like a bloody zombie apocalypse. The Farangs are going crazy. I mean, what's the issue with these two New Zealand fellas? Who, um, attacked a police officer and, and a gun went off. I mean, is that being resolved? I'm not going to talk about that because that could be subdued to see, you know, the, an ongoing story. But, um, and then there's other violent incidents. What, what's the matter with Farangs attacking people in Thailand? It's crazy. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I'm sure New Zealand people are very, very nice. Anyway, Ian Mark, hi, Eddie from Ireland. Okay, you've got, um, your prime minister has resigned. Well, I don't interfere about, um, you know, politics in, politics in other countries. Richard White, two weeks now, will be on Koh Samet. Good choice. I'd say you what, I've, I've visited about at least 10 Thai islands, including all the major ones. Phuket, Koh Samui, Koh Phang Yan, uh, Koh Lipe, all the major islands. But I still maintain that the, the islands, Koh Chiang and Koh Samet, that are closest towards Pattaya and Bangkok, 
coach and that. I still say it's as good as any of them. Coach Yang's a great island as well. I don't really think you need to go out of your way to all those other islands because Koh Samet's a beautiful island, fantastic beaches there. Anders Bergen, nice to hear from you, mate. Ian Bowden, afternoon, Ed. I am now in British Airway Club Lounge waiting for my flight to Madrid to then get that fast train to Valencia and then coach to Benidorm. Adventure start, no pose. That's bloody good, that. That's bloody good. I, I went to... Um, I, I went I went to... Uh, I went to Valencia and to Benidorm in September 2018. And it was actually my first visit to mainland Spain. I've been to the islands before, you know, a lot of the islands, but not mainland Spain before. And I loved Benidorm. It was so tacky and good fun. And I went to Valencia and I couldn't really get into it. Because to, to be honest with you, at that stage, I, um, I, my YouTube channel had only just got underway, and I didn't really know how to make proper videos at that time. And also, I had a little bit of um, response with my Southeast Asian videos, so I, I just didn't really make that many videos about Spain or anything, simply because I, I, I didn't think my audience would be interested. But what, one thing about Benidorm, I did say, I wonder, I wonder if they still had it, that um, the Star Trek, no, not Star Trek, Star Wars cover. They're a married couple auntie and she gets she dresses up as prince leia and he dresses up as darth vader and they're on these these kind of hoverboard things and they do a live rumpy pumpy show in the bars in benedon tatiana their name is and they've, and, and they've been doing it for years it's funny like you know you listen to the music the star wars and then the, the next minute like you know they're getting it on and she's I wonder if he's still doing that. It, it, apparently, he do it on three or four times a night. Imagine that. You know, you know, doing rumpy pumpy with your missus in a live sex show in various bars in Benidorm, and then of a night time, like you know, he says to her, "I'll buy it, baby," and she probably says, "We've already done it about half a dozen times tonight." Uh, yeah, just, just a thought, anyway. Sandman, man, okay. Hey, Dave. There you go. Shows how popular I am. He's tuned into my channel. To say hello to somebody else. Hey, your night watching from ba Bacalod, Philippines. Yeah, okay. Never actually heard of that one. David Coleman, did you like the last photo I sent to you? You dirty old man. Dirty, dirty. He's been sending me dirty pictures from Cuba of, of Cuban beds with big knockers and all the, Oh, God almighty, dirty. Oh, <clears throat> Eddie, are you ba ba happy to be back in Thailand? Yeah, I'm happy to be back in New Don Sandy because I do like this place. I do like it's it's a slow burner. It's not an instantly likable place. The town centre isn't somewhere that really excites you. You know, as soon as you arrive and you in some places, you know, you see, you know, distinctive buildings. You think, oh, I like this place. This is cool. But um, New Don Sandy is a bit of a slow burner. It's got everything you need. Oh, yeah, for what it's worth, I've actually put my name down for a condo here. So I'm going to be around Dude on Sony for quite a while. Anyway, uh, let's see. David Dasher, hey, Tamara, okay. Toby Price, welcome back to the land of smiles. Okay, cheers. So what's happened in, Th in Thailand anyway? I mean, I'm just, I'm just constantly seeing. You. All right, hello. All right, how are you? I, I'm just, yeah, you too, mate, you too. I'm just constantly seeing the, seeing the ports about, about people going crazy. I mean, the, the thing is, that there's always been shock murders and all this kind of stuff going on in times, but it's usually, it's usually, <laughs> it's, it's usually um, Thai people, you know, murdering Farangs. I mean, now the Farangs are just, they, 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 what are they on? What are they on? Are they on some naughty substance that's sending them all crazy? It just it seems every few days I'm in about some dreadful story in Thailand. But anyway, what, what I will say, I've still got a couple more videos to come from Lao. I was impressed by, what, by Lao, believe it or not. Believe it or not, Lao, I, I thought Vientiane is a kind of nondescript capital city. Van Vieng, I like that place a lot. That's a lovely, lovely, lovely place. Luang Prabang, I felt, was a little bit overrated. I've been to all of these places before. But, um, uh, you know, Lao, I've got things to say about Lao. I mean, I certainly wouldn't write Lao. Lao is the most kind of anonymous country in this particular region. 
but it, it could well appeal to people, and I've got things to say about that in videos. Laos a good place. If ever you're coming to this part of the world and you're traveling through various countries, don't overlook Laos. And I'll explain the reasons for that. Uh, okay. Bad for me stands, it's pronounced Shargao in the Philippines. Yeah, okay, cool. I, Philippines is terrific. I mean, you know, I, 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 um, I mentioned on this video, you know, the other day about reasons that I won't be retiring in Thailand. And some people say, why didn't you resign the Philippines? I don't think the Philippines is for me. I don't think it, it's not really... I've been there, I've been there a couple of times, but I don't think it's the place for me. Uh, you know, I wouldn't retire to a country simply because it's the easiest place to retire in. It's got to be something more than that. Andrew Johnson, hello, Eddie. Hope you're well. Nice to hear from you, mate. Nice to hear. Andrew's my friend in, in Pattaya. So, uh, but I'm, oh, I'm starting to miss Pattaya. Wouldn't rule out another uh, wouldn't rule out another visit to that place. Nice to hear from you, mate. Well, traveller, so what are the visa requirements for living in Cambodia? Well, I'm not going to go into much detail about that uh, right now, but they, the consensus is that if you're staying there a long time, it's far more relaxed and uncomplicated than Thailand, far more so. So um, we, we'll, we'll talk about that when the time comes. Dave the Dasher, 3.36 p.m. here in Japan. 3.36 p.m. Okay, so you're two hours ahead of here. Okay. I'd, I'd like to visit Japan. I, I'd like to, I'll tell you what, I'd like to visit Japan. Okay. And I'd still like to visit a lot of other people. But I'm getting tired of traveling. I, you know, I, don't even, I want to relax more nowadays. But let me just, before I forget to mention this, I, I seen a video the other day um, about that... Um, yeah, yeah, about Gabriel Traveller, who's terrific. That guy has travelled and travelled. He's, he's done more travelling than just about anyone, that guy. And, you know, you know, and he's got a wonderful YouTube channel. He's got a, you know, a great personality. He's very down to earth. He did a video the other day, and it was one of those videos you watch, and you're, you're glad that you watched it afterwards, simply because it was a video about his travel expenses, how much he spends on travel, compared to how much he earns from YouTube. And basically, to cut a long story short, he was going on about El Salvador, and he said, basically, he spends X amount of money, you know, traveling through El Salvador, including the flight and everything, and that he made X amount of money on YouTube. And he, he, he was about, I think he said he was about $1,000 up. He earned $1,000 more than what he spent on his travels. But then he went on about his trip to Hawaii and the viewing figures were not as good and um, and yet the cost of his travel was so much more. Hawaii is probably a very, very, very expensive place. And I think he said he was about 2000 down. Yeah, you know, his travel cost him $2,000 more than what he actually had. So he was 2000 it was $1,000 up. El Salvador, $2,000 down in Hawaii. So um, it was a very, very interesting video that, and I, I, um, I was glad that I watched that video because he, he really brought out, really, when you travel vlogging and you're important, you've got to be realistic and you've got to travel and do the things that people want to see. It's no good. To, people say to me, Ed, why don't you go, why don't you stay in five-star luxury hotels and all this? It, it's, I, I'd lose money. I'd lose money if I was to do that. You know, it's me who pays for the hotels. And it's me who pays for the travel. And also, like Gabriel Traveller said, he said there was far more interest in El Salvador, which is a poor country, than there was in Hawaii, which is an expensive country. You've got to be realistic. I mean, I'd like to travel five star throughout the world or all the way, but if I'm going to lose big money doing it, then, you know, it's, what's the bloody point? Especially of guys that want to see it, you know what I mean? I mean, my, my best viewing figures come from sitting in a chair talking about certain issues, to be honest with you. David Coleman, that guy now was a crazy left wing. Well, I never ever try and comment on other uh, you know, uh, politicians in other countries, to be honest with you. Who's that? The fans back on the Elvis diet, Ed? Never, never touch peanut butter. 
you know what? I've seen a little report once. Um, things that are most likely to kill you. And um, things like hang, hang gliding, jumping off buildings with a parachute and all this kind of stuff. And also the rated peanut butter sandwiches. Probably must be one of the worst things you can eat. Mark, Neil Fleet is here. Good morning, Ed from Waverty. Good morning, Neil. Good morning. Hope all is well, mate. Harold Patterson. Hell yeah. I've been, I've been told off of bloody shouting in public. I'm not, I'm not going to shout that out loud. I'm in a cafe here right now. Robert Joe. Robert Joe. Morning, Eddie. You look a bit... Morning, Eddie. You're looking full of beans today. Enough energy for some love in the afternoon. Let's talk about love in the afternoon. Now, I know I've had any criticisms about um, massage girls in this vicinity. Not a very good experience with one. But I did see a chick the other day. Yesterday when I arrived here. And, uh, you know, I was, you know, I was, you know, my stage, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be... I've got to be prepared, psyched up for this sort of thing. But I looked at her and I chatted with her and... Oh, I'm coming back to you, baby. You and me, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming back to you, baby. Definitely. Good-looking girl. Nice. Nice girl. Oh, the, oh, the massage girls ain't here the last of me. Yeah. Definitely. Tasty chick. Benadorm Boom Boom Bar. What's that? How about better? Benadorm Boom Boom Bar. Okay. They have a few live, live rumpy pumpy shows there in Bella. It's very, very relaxed, right, relaxed about it. David Coleman, Eddie, I may go to Costa Rica in April for two weeks. If well, I went to Costa Rica um, I, uh, almost 20 years ago, and I thought it was overrated, that place. I thought generally it was overrated. I thought just about everything about that place was a bit overrated. Um, it's even some of the beaches were overrated. I heard that it was a beautiful place. I went to some popular beaches in the Costa Rica and the bloody filth, the water was filthy. And uh, I thought it was a little bit overrated, that place, but that's just my opinion. Simon, who's, the, who's there? Can't see the name, the, the screen's gone too, gone dark. Oh, Shin Ran. Okay, nice, nice to hear from you, Shin. Nice to hear from you, mate. Always a pleasure to hear from it. Yeah, just you know, just um, I'm, I'm kind of pleased now because I've just, um, I've just agreed to, to you know, for the condo, you know, uh, here in, in Udon Tani. It's a nice condo, very, very nice, good value and all that. And I haven't stayed in a condo for, for a very, very long time, but I think I'm going to be happy settled in that one. Uh, definitely. So Udon Tani is a good place. I'll hang around there for a while. I'll, I like it. You get good food, nice bars, friendly people. Good place. Who's that? Toby Price. Udon is a good spot. It's not hard in the pocket either. Oh, get fair enough. Let's see. Issa Man. Did you get the 80 bar Thai bus from the NTM? Yeah. Did, did you get the 80 bar? 80 Thai bar bus from the NTM. No, it wasn't 80 bar. It wasn't 80 bar. I, I booked it from the hotel. I, I booked it from the hotel. I, I don't be, you know, you know drag me luggage to the bus station and all that. What I've done is I booked it to the hotel. They charged me. Um, they, the hotel charged me 180,000 kip, which is about nine US dollars. But that was everything. That was a pickup. That was a pickup at um, it, it was it was it was a pickup at the hotel in Vientiane, and um, and then by a taxi, and then the taxi took me to the bus station in Vientiane. I got on the bus, and everything was really really well organized, so well organized that the attendant on the bus he got out, and he even showed you which forms to fill in and all this. They were really really good. So I know like it was about nine dollars overall, one hundred and eighty thousand kip, and I thought that was really really good, uh, quite well worth it. It was that Englishman in Malta. Nice to hear from you, mate. Nice. To, I, I watched your live stream. I, I, I watched your live stream. I didn't comment, but I, I did watch your live stream yesterday. Englishman in Malta does a, does a great channel. More than that, nice to see you back in town. Been many years. Been many years since I've been to Udon Sani. Okay, yeah, thanks for that. Is that Harold Betson? How much is the beer there, Ed? Talk about beer. Well, in this particular, 
where I, you talk about here, it, this is 60 Thai bar for the San Miguel. So that, that's reasonably enough. Who's that? Uh, Eddie. Okay, Eddie. When you said that you put your name down with a condo in New Dunsani, what do you mean? Would you spend some time in New Dunsani and someone see how me? No, no, I, I'm not buying it. I don't mean I'm buying it. I, don't, I mean, I'm renting a, a, a condo for a month. And I'd be around to see the chappy, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, just before this live stream. I went around to see him, and he was cool, and he's cool, and it looks nice. And I said, I'll, I'll be, I'll be there, you know. So I've, I've basically, yeah, you know, I'm basic, basically going to be staying there for a the month anyway. I'll give you the details later. Most led. I always hear the crowd cheer during the grand finale. Maybe it's just in my head. I always hear the crowd cheer during the grand finale. Maybe it's just in my head. What grand finale? What grand finale? Uh, let's see. David Mayer. Is that, who's that? David Rissler is that. Two big advances with Philippines and very fabled visa requirements for American military vets. And everybody speaks English. Other than that, not not much. Well, yeah, I mean, you're right. So, look, look, English is wide spoken, and um, English is wide spoken, and you know, visa requirements are probably better, and um, there's a lot of other th other things that are better. But you know, it it doesn't do for me the Philippines. I, I, there's a lot of things I like about the Philippines. I didn't like, I didn't fit whatever anyone says. I, I don't feel the Philippines is a safer country as Thailand or these or these uh, neighboring countries. I don't think it is. I thought that the street hawkers, the sellers, were very very aggressive, and and um, I that put me off. I mean, I've said this before, but someone comes up here. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, trying to sell you something, you say, nah, no, thank you, no, not for me. Don't go away. In the bloody Philippines, they'll pick an argument with you. You know, and, uh, you know. It's, uh, I just, I didn't like the attitude of some of them in the Philippines. I didn't feel it, it's a good country, uh, uh, you know, but I just felt it's it's not the right place for me. Who's that? Darren. Who is that? I can't actually see the name. Is it Darren? Oh, in October, I watched your video. You said you were going to stop drinking. Great hope you can. It's not for you. Good luck. Good stuff, drinking. Great. I hope you can. It's not for you. Did I say that in October? It does. It said in October. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm drinking a hell of a lot less than I used to. Who's that? Uh, Ian Fitton. I am glad you're back in Thailand. Thank you. Toby Price. It's a good time for people to visit Japan currently. The yen is down just now. Well, yeah, yeah, but it, it's. Um, Japan was always notoriously expensive, wasn't it? Uh, one of the most, it was said to be one of the most expensive countries. Well, I'd like to visit Japan, but I don't know what value that's, that's, that's gotten. And also, you know, when I, when I venture to countries like that, that my viewing figures go down, really. I mean, um, yeah, you know, so I don't know. I can't, I can't see myself visiting Japan anytime soon. David Cobb, oh my God, I love peanut butter sandwiches. I'm going to die soon. Well, Elvis did. I did. Well, I had, you know, Elvis just, that was his favourite. Not good for you. Who's that? Donald Trump, howdy, Edward. Hope you're well. Nice to hear from you, Mr. President. Nice to hear from you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Eastern man, David Risner. Eastern man. Okay, good morning. Okay, who's that? Seemingly, good morning. Yeah, he said, man, is saying to David Risner, for Brits, the Philippines is the only country in Southeast Asia. Asia. We, we get our state pension index and receive yearly increases. The rest is frozen and we get no yearly increases. Well, there probably are a lot of good things about the Philippines, but... 7,000 islands there, isn't it? I mean, it's finding the right place. I'm not sure what is the right place that I, I would, I, I personally would want to settle in the Philippines. I mean, if you look at somewhere like Angeles City, I thought Angeles City, the infrastructure, it looked more fair the world. It, it can't compare to somewhere like Pattaya in any way. Yeah, you know, it's, I just don't actually know the place where I would want to settle in the Philippines, to be honest with you. Who's that? Is that sceneries? Good morning, everyone from London. Okay, nice to hear from you, mate. Super Stephen. Hi, Eddie. Welcome back to Thailand. Okay, thank you. 
Who's that? Is that I, see, I tell you, I can't see the names very well. Is it John, somebody? Ed, why did you think Siam would be better than Non Pen to be sire? Well, simply because it's a much nicer place. I mean, that makes all the difference. You, you know, I, I mean, how important is it to you that a place looks good? You, you, you know, when, when you, you visit a place, I mean, you're not motivated by a place that looks good. I mean, Siam Reap looks a much cleaner, much brighter, much more welcoming place. Phnom Penh, it, it, it's a, it's, don't forget, Phnom Penh is a capital city. And capital cities are always going to be more expensive than other places. They always are. And also, Phnom Penh, on my last visit to it, it was kind of strange because um, there's a lot more skyscrapers going up. You've got things like Diamond Island. So there's a lot more wealth being poured into Phnom Penh. But a lot of the areas, areas which I've known from the past, like 51 Street, and they, they look more fair. They look like they've gone backward. They look more run down than they did before. Siam Reap's a much nicer town. That's the reason, basically. Uh, he's a, he's a, Dennis, I, he's a man. Oh, nice. That's a great Dennis. He's a, he's, somebody said, how's the bear, Eddie? It's okay. It's nice. David come, but there's no beach where you are. Well, no, this is inland. So, you know, I can do it out of beach. Who's done Sandy? This is not, it's not a beach place. Who's that? Um, Eamon Roger. What town or city do you like best in Laos for fun, cost people? Said. Well, I like Van Vieng. I thought Van Vieng is a lovely town with the mountains around it and it's... You know, like it's like one of those western towns. It's got a good feel. It's got plenty of bars. I know it's like predominantly young people, but you know they're harmless enough. And um, I like Van Vieng. I thought Van Vieng's a lovely town. Adult Betterman. Ever been to Belfast? Ed? I was there last week and very interested walking around two different troubled areas. Felt safe and welcome. I've never been. No, I've never been there. I just I. Well, you know, I'd like to, um, you know, to get, yeah, go to uh, that part of the world, but I'll probably, you know, I, I think I'll miss the boat, to be honest with you. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Hot there. Yeah, hot there. Somebody's saying hot there. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot stuff. It's not too hot. It's just about right. Darren, is that David? It's 3 a.m. here in South Carolina, USA. That's a lovely sounding name, that it's South Carolina. Sounds lovely there. I just, it just stayed up to say hello. Eddie, just kidding. I'm working the overnight shift. Oh, well, good for you, mate. Good for you. Good for you. Nice to be here from you. David Coleman. Everyone says the Philippines are dirty and you're bound to get sick eating the food. Well, I didn't get, get um, sick. I didn't get, get sick. But also, but the thing is, the food is not a really, really good quality in the Philippines, to be honest with you. Who's that Rusty? Who's that somebody? Is that Rusty Clark or Harry Clark or whatever it is? Barry Clark. Barry Q. Oh, Barry Q. Sneaky sus suspicion you may settle a new Dansani. Maybe I would if, if the visa was a situation, but, you know, it's, 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 you know, well, for all those reasons I explained in a video the other day. There we go. Okay, Japan is a fantastic place. Great people and actually cheap right now. Okay. Is, is it a fantastic? Is it really? Um, so how much would I... How much would, be, would a nice, decent hotel be per night in Japan? Let's see. Jay Cut. Yeah, 193 to the pound now. Well, I'm not familiar with that currency, to be honest with you. Uh, Englishman of Malta, nice to have you along with the, with the live. It was supposed to be a quick vertical, but it went up on a bit. Vertical live shows up on the show feed. Yeah, good, for, good for you. Yeah, it's, 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 it's um, yeah, yeah it's absolutely. Englishman of Malta does some great videos. And if, if, you, if, you, if you want to see that, I've never been to Malta. I'd like to, like to see that country. I really, really would. Who's that? Oh, Rent Boy. Oh, there's a Rent Boy in the house if anyone's interested. Rent Boy, love the hair, Daddy. You look like you're gaining weight, my big hairy teddy bear. I don't know what to make of that. 
I thought it was a make of that. There's a rent buy in the house if anyone's interested. I'm not. It's so be price. Be good for you to chill out in a condo for a month after all of the traveling. Recharge the batteries and no pulling that suitcase about. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I've seen that condos there and I'm looking forward to forward to that. I've told the guy I'm gonna be I'm gonna be moving in there and it all looks cool. And then um, also I, I can I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a little bit more of a relaxed time. Because one thing I haven't done, at least I haven't watched any Netflix or Amazon, anything like that, because I've been doing things. Uh, but you know that I was going to mention this sooner or later. My book is going to be coming out within the next couple of weeks. In fact, I'm hoping to get it uploaded maybe the end of, maybe next weekend or maybe a few days beyond that. So I'm finishing off that, and, you know. So I've got I've got tons to do, man. I've got tons to do. No shows of things to do. Somebody said to me the other day, Ed, have you got to settle in a condo anywhere out there? You really, really need a hobby. What? Do you, do you not think that I haven't already got a hobby? I have two bloody buying YouTube channels, and I, I, you know, I write books as well. I think I've got enough to do. But watching Netflix and Amazon that would be a luxury for me. Who's that? Sean, good morning. Is that the same cafe that you were in three weeks ago? But you will not see more places to settle going over old ground, okay? Perfect, thank you. Ed, time for another bit. Okay, thank you for that five US dollars, Perfect. That's very, very kind of, very kind of. Okay, in that case, hello? 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 Have another beer, please. Hello? Can I have another beer, please? Another San Miguel, please. Okay. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't think I'm a nuisance to you, please. They're all right. Th thank you for that, Pervis. Uh, who's that? Robert, Robert Best, is that? He waits all the poor pies, of course. Cheers. Okay. Looks a nice place. It's good. It, the thing is, this road where I am now, it's just got it's got good cafes and restaurants. You can get a decent meal there, a lovely, decent, satisfying meal in this road. And I'm going to have one after after, after here. I, 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 should, I should have something to eat here in this cafe here. I will do that sometime. I really, really should, because they did, did okay. They, did, they, did, they let me use the, uh, they let me do live streams here and all of that. Who's this? Looks a nice place. Scott, looks a nice place. Easter man, I think I know where you're staying. If I am right, the number nine bar for something seen in the town from early morning and early evening. Well, don't give out where I'm staying, Easter man. You know, I, I'm, I don't give out my location, because, you, you know, I might just get. Jehovah's Witnesses coming around selling me watchtower, you know what I mean? Don't any Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on the door. But anyway, Sean, but who done was already a place you, you were not retiring to? Best looking girls in Thailand are not far away from body and shit in. Who done was already a place you were not retiring to? No, I'm not planning on retiring here. I'm not. I'm just saying that I'm just, I've, got, I've got a condo lined up for the next month. Sugar cane. During the morning, before Mrs. gets back to work, just cracked open the cold one for you. During the, oh, ju during the ironing, before, doing the ironing. Okay, good for you. Good for you, mate, good for you. Let's see, where are we now? Regards from, uh, cats are good coffee, regards from Pattaya. Good old Pattaya, good for you. Rusty Lid, Sam Reed also has lots of Western backpacking girls. It would pay to wear less each year. That, 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 that's, that's okay. No problem with that at all. No problem with that at all. I know there's lots of young people, people, people you know, young people. But I, 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 I don't, you know, I don't look at, you know, young people or anything like that. You know what I mean? They, they're young, youngsters, so that's, they're, they're nothing to do with me, then. Lee, man, I have to laugh about people having a pop at you having a few beers. Get yourself a non-English speaking bar girl, wife in your weekly podcast, and they will stop slating you about drinking. About drinking. Oh, God. I don't bloody care. I'm past caring, mate. I'm past caring. 
I know, like, you know, I get a lot of trolls slash knobheads who, who think it's clever to post comments on my videos and live streams, but I don't completely care. If they say anything really offensive or lies, untrue about them, or anything malicious, then I'll block them. Okay? But other than that, who cares? Who cares? Nobody takes them seriously. Who's that? Uh, bottle Baby, will you stand for the 30 or 15 day visa at the time? But I think, I think it was about, I think it was 30, 30. Yeah, 30, about 30, yeah. Who's that? Robert Best, blanked again. Okay, have a lovely day. Okay, nice to hear from you, Robert. I hope I didn't ignore you. I can't always see the names, you know, because the screen's gone dark. Okay. Jack, some of your hotels are expensive in Japan. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat what I said a moment ago, about that gave your travel a video that I watched, which is, I was so glad I watched it because, you know, it made me realise, I mean, if you're a travel vlogger, what's the point of going to more expensive countries? Because you don't, you don't gain from it. I mean, and there's, if there's less interest, it's just going to cost you, you're just going to lose money. Who's that, Sean? Rural town is not for me, Pattaya, Phuket or Cambodia. We'll be watching there with interest. Okay, fair play. Who's that, Sprinklers? I'll just want to buy a digital copy of it. What was the e-book, isn't there? There's the there's the e-book, the, um, you know, the Kindle. If you've got a Kindle, you download it to a Kindle, don't you? Uh, my, my new book will, will come out. It will be better formatted than the first book. Probably if the first one was a learning process as much as anything is. It went down well. I got good reviews. But it wasn't perfect. But I've managed to I, I, iron out some of the stuff. So I'm better. The second book will, will be better than the first one. Promise you. Who's that? Richiest Rich. Is that Richie Rich? Philippines is good after you live for six months when it comes to the UK state pension. I see you can get the full increase by going to live there for six months. Okay. Eastern man, has already you uh, men mentioned this? Who's that? Somebody said Jimmy Hardy, hey, okay. Who's this? To the line. You're not allowed in Japan if your winkle is over four inches long. Oh, that, that, that'll ban me. That, that'll ruin me out there, Mona. Who's this? Any sort of Malta? Any rent girls in, in, in the house? There's, there's a rent boy. He was, he was, he was here. So he was here, here earlier. Uh, you can get a nice, someone said, you can get a nice comfortable hotel room in Tokyo for 40 quid per night, maybe less in the outskirts of the city. A nice comfortable hotel. Well, that's in, in Tokyo. The capital says like that, 40 quid a night. Well, that, that sounds cheap for a big capital city like that. Oh, okay. Who's that? David Risner. My sneak suspicion is Eddie settles in Laos. It's a great place for another. I've never, I've never considered Laos. Um, never considered Laos for, uh, uh, you know, retirement. So I don't know what the retirement is. I never really looked into that. But there's a lot of good things about that country. There is. If you want a nice, peaceful life, I'm pretty sure that Laos is probably the safest country in this region. It probably is. Sean says, being, what, being great watching you visit different places, but okay, that's very, very kind of you. Sprinklers. Yeah, let's not die of dehydration. I have at least 12 per day. Okay. David Argyle, I'll be back in town in January the 28th next year for a couple of weeks. Good for you. January is the best month, isn't it? David, come, Eddie, get a full-time girl for your new condo. I had the same girl in Cuba for a week at a time. Okay. To be honest with you, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm, I'm I, you know, I'm, I'm motivated by my YouTube channel and the books. That's, that's, that's what motivates me. Yeah, 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 you know, I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. I'd, I'd be impossible to live with anyway. Too distracting. I like doing things, you know. 
Sp yeah, Rusty Lake Springs. I used the phone app. Still, I downloaded the Kindle app and bought it there. Read it on my phone. Okay, cheers. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Roy Gold, nice to hear from you, Roy. Roy's, Roy has a very, very uh, comfortable retirement in, in, uh, in John Tiena, believe it is. That sounds like a good strategy. Stay in a condo for a month at a time you like. Relax, then move on somewhere else. Okay, fine. Thanks for that, mate. Anyway. Scott, I like my Western food and Thai food too much. I think I'm Pattaya bound. Okay. Pattaya's, you know, I've said it before, but it's, 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 a, it's a great place, but it's... Yeah, yeah, I can't stay there too long. I get pig sick of the place. A lot of people are becoming a bit disillusioned with the tire, aren't they? You know, a few vloggers I know have uh, said, you know, they've had enough of the place. Oh, I don't know. Uh, sprinklers. Going to start wearing fish nets to my, my plumber job. Oh, to turn up some, some acts of business. Okay, be good for you, mate. Who's that? Who is the her purpose? When you're in Sham Reef, do you have to make sure your US dollars are in perfect condition when you're paying at restaurants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Make sure that they're perfect. I mean, I had an imperfect $100 bill and I got it out of an exchange booth in Thailand. Um, but when, when you get to, when, when you get to Siam Reef, you do have to, well, look, in Cambodia, yeah, because it, it, that's not their uh, uh, national currency. So if the dollars are imperfect, they will, they will not accept it. David Risner, I don't see how anybody could troll Eddie. He's nothing but honest and down to earth and very candid. What is there to troll? Yeah, exactly. Thank you, David. They, they troll because they've got nothing better to do. It, it's either, to, you know, they think it's funny. They've got nothing better to do. It's, it's a bit of fun for them, you know what I mean? Hello. Hiya. Hello, how are you? All right. How are you kidding? It's Ed, Eddie. Nice to meet you. What's, what's your name? John. John. Okay, good to meet you. Miss, that's me, Mr. Sweeney, yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good to know, anyway. Yeah, I was in Laos. Yeah, yeah. Laos good. I mean, I was just saying, I'm going to do a couple of videos, but... No, 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 it's okay. Um, the thing is, um, the thing is, Laos, it's probably the safest country in Southeast Asia, I think. If you want to really relax life, it's a good place, Laos. I, I, I touched it last year. Yeah. But I was told the border. Yeah. So I went to the border and I said that five years across, we wouldn't get back to it because we told it. Oh, that was. Oh. Oh. I had a hired car waiting for something. Yeah. Oh, that's that's um, that, that was just the bad old day. Let's yeah, let's hope that never returns again. But no, no, I mean, I, I must admit, I, 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 it's a slow burn allow. But after a while, you'll you'll get to like that place. If you want a nice, quiet, relaxed life, it's probably the best bet for you in Southeast Asia. Yeah, Siam, Siam Reap. I, I like I like Siam Reap, but I'll, I'll probably stay in Thailand here for a couple of months first. Uh, yeah, you know, before I do that. So um, this is good. I like Udon Thani. It's a really, really good place. And uh, I mean, look at this road here. You can get good, plenty of bars. You can get good food. And I go around the park every night. Yeah. Walk around the park every night. Just a bit of exercise as well. Yeah. 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 Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, nice to meet you anyway. Nice to meet you, okay, yeah, you have a good day. Steady, Eddie, steady, Eddie, that's me. Okay, all the best, mate, cheers. Okay, let's see, where are we, where are we? Uh, I don't see anybody could show it. Okay, anyway. David Coleman, I heard that women in Japan will not sleep with us because we are too big for them. Uh, <laughs> no color. Toby Price, I don't know what to make of that one. Toby Price, you get stamped into time on the 30 days flying or by land board. 13 days was the old real land board. Uh, 30, well, I, whoops, well, I got 30 days in my passport. 
I like the freedom of all Western food. I like one side of the table in a restaurant and a white. You know, the food spice on the other side of the table. You don't get that in rural areas. I like the food, you know, it's that Scott Western food, one side of the table. Okay, yeah, fair coming, fair coming. Easter Bank, direct flights between New Delhi and Siam Reed to start in a couple of months. So that'll be a change to the video, Democrat. But I like Indians, I they're cool. Never done me any harm. Never, yeah, you know. Jeffrey Stone. Good morning, Eddie. Okay. David Coleman. Who is going to be the new James Bond? Oh, my God. Do you know what? I like the James Bond movies. Wonderful franchise. Marvellous movies. But that debate about who's going to be the next James Bond seems to have rattled on for years. And it just does me head in that. That does. It really, really does. Sprinklers. Thanks, Rusty. Will do. Yeah. He's like, Oshie oh, Mike, look at, we knew you have a book and write another one. We, we get it, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. That's a, that's good. Can't blame me for advertising, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, since I slipped that one in in my last video, the title of that book, I noticed the Amazon sales has <laughs> gone up again, yeah. So it works, it works, it works. Franklin. Good to see you settling in Germany. I just think I've never seen you ride a moped. You stay with... Oh, I, I, don't do, I don't do bikes. I don't do... They're too much ass. I've seen people killed on them. I've seen people killed on motorbikes. I know they get okay, but I, I've seen people bloody killed on them. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I just... They're not for me, mate. They're not for me. You look at the, the things that are most likely to kill you out here, the motorbikes would be high on the list. Is that see the Tokyo? Don't they make you sleep in pods? Oh, you mean those little capsule things? Oh, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't sleep in a bloody capsule. Yeah, you know. I mean, I mean that claustrophobic. No thanks. <laughs> David Coleman's going to sleep in a pod on my my stop over in Tokyo. Then fly to Bangkok the next day. I wouldn't. So that's the, not definitely not for me. Oh, see, my talent just seems the best place. I've, been a few times. We was thinking about other places in Southeast Asia, but after a lot of YouTube, Thailand seems the best. Do you agree? If you've never, let's see. But Thailand's a bit. This this area. See, this is one of the reasons that I'm not I'm not really planning on the Philippines or anything that involves an aeroplane. The neighbouring countries here, the four sort of neighbouring countries: Thailand, Laos. Cambodia, Vietnam. I don't, those four countries, I don't really see why you would need any other countries. Because those four countries alone just got everything. And, you know, you can, you can find ways to, you know, to, to do land borders and all kinds of stuff. I, I don't see any reason, really, to fly to the Philippines or Japan, you know. Who's that? Liam Harden. When you go back to retire, are you flying to Bangkok or would you not... Get the train and stuff over a few nights at Cold Khan and then Karat. I'll probably, I, I, I won't be flying. I'll probably get the train to Bangkok or I might stop off at those other places you mentioned. Someone said, the side is the worst people in the region. I would hate to live there. Okay for the visit though. Okay. The side is great to get a, get a bad time. The side is great fun. Yeah, someone said, I've read Eyes of Owen's book, a decent and funny read. Okay, good for him. I know he's written a book on Amazon. David Cole, Eddie, I'm afraid now to spend a few weeks in London. The UK is getting crazy. Oh, so you, did you ever watch some of those videos about, about London and you know, all these people bloody robbing you? You, you know, and oh, God, it, it's, it, it's, you, you know, years, years ago, I mean, I wonder what, like, American people think of London. Now, years ago, they, they thought American cities were dangerous, but London was safe. But now, London's got... Oh, it just looks bloody crazy to me. It looks absolutely crazy. But remember, don't, wander, don't walk around with gold watches on and gold, you know, necklaces and all, gold chains and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, David Mills, the other fan of Eddie Chandler's fan, they go anywhere, he said, oh, nice to meet him, good, nice, nice guy, good guy. Who's that? Cats are good coffee, I passport, okay, nice to meet you. 
It's good. Yeah, there's the many restaurants in Cambodia where you can eat roast dinner and Asian food, kebab and Asian fish and chips. It, it, there's tons of them. The food in Cambodia is terrific. I mean, what I like to do, I like to find myself my favourite restaurant. Because the thing is, if you're going to have one main meal a day, I don't want to gamble. I, w I, want, to, I want to play it safe. I, if I find a place which delivers good food, I like to stick with it. But Cambodia, don't let anyone tell you that it's not good food. You know, you get good wholesome food. You can get roast dinners and just about every, everything else in Cambodia. And uh, Siam Reap, loads of good restaurants. Phnom Penh, loads of good restaurants. Lovely steaks and everything. Great stuff. Okay. It is the is that uh, can't can't see your name. Can't actually see your name. Is it I was Rossi Mike. Just curious you spend a lot of time and effort on YouTube instead of maybe just enjoying retirement. Just because you need money or just enjoy Well this is what I like doing. This is what I like doing. I'm, I mean I'm I it wouldn't be out here if I couldn't afford to retire. But this is what I like doing. Don't forget, it's not just YouTube. I also write books. I've got a book out. It's on Amazon KDP called Five Go to Pattaya by Edward Sweeney. And my second book is coming out within the next couple of weeks. Okay, more, more of that later. So I, I like doing creative things, and you never know. I'm looking at other things on the internet. And um, I'm looking at other things on the internet. And if I come up with another idea, then I'll pursue that. I like, I like doing my internet stuff, you know. Better, it's better than getting up at bloody five o'clock in the morning and going to work on a, a building site in the freezing, you know, cold, you know what I mean? Yeah, who's that? Is that Sean? Off to work, have a day, Greg. Okay, good for you, mate, anyway. Good for you. David Coleman, Kath, the last trip to Cuba was great. $25 for the BJ. <laughs> Don't shuck and coat it over, just say what you mean, David. He's a man, a nice to have you. David Risner, I love James Bond series, but Sean Connery will always be the one and only James Bond. Maybe, but I come from the Roger Moore generation. I, I, Roger Moore was my favourite. Bob White, oh yeah, you're back in Thailand already? Yes, I am. Uh, nice to hear from you, mate. Re really, I stayed for three weeks in Laos, but... Um, I, uh, you know, I, I probably would have gone from Laos to Cambodia, and Laos does border Cambodia, but from where I was, it just seemed easy to come back into town. And I'm here now anyway, and I'm not complaining. Who's that? Cat's a good coffee. Eddie having a ginger ale with a bit of barley. Okay. So 153 people in, 154 people in the chat at this ungodly month. I'm just going to give you a quick scan of where we are here. Look, there we are. That's where we are. Lovely sunny scene. Lovely, lovely sunny scene. Out in... Um, beautiful sunny scene out in um, uh, Udantani. I'm going to go for a roast dinner. No, no, not a roast dinner. Maybe a steak dinner or something. I went to my favourite full throttle house yesterday. Uh, now I'm going to go in the... What's it on the brick house? That's another another favourite man. I love this street. This is a great street. It's got bars of plenty. It's got some really, really good food eateries. It's a cracking place. Can't go wrong. It's a really good place, this. And like I say, I did um, see a lovely massage girl yesterday. Oh yeah, we're not in the right frame. I need to be psyched up, you know what I mean? But uh, oh it's lo lovely. I, I thought we'll I'll catch up with you later, baby. You and me will meet again very, very soon, baby. We'll meet again. I'll be back for you, baby, definitely. When the time is right, I'm coming back for you, baby. Like I say, my first experience with a massage girl here in Udantani was not good. But um, the one I was chatting to yesterday... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep you posted about that one. Who's that? It, Paul Philippines. I heard he's so hot here in Dumaguet, but I'm not moaning there. Back to fleas in the UK in, in, in two weeks. Okay, good for you, mate. Good for you. I'm not moaning. I'm not moaning. What's the weather like in Britain right now? Late March. 
I'm sitting here in shorts and t-shirts. Wonderful. Not complaining. David Combs, so many people die in roads on the in Thailand on the roads. I, yeah, and it, motorbike and, and in England as well. Motorbikes are a killer. It's amazing, you know, you can you've got to wear a seatbelt when you need a car and yet, you know, what the hell's protecting you when you when you're on a motorbike? You know, I, I, won't, I won't be riding one. Cats good coffee. Eddie, do you know the Aussie Tim Shark? He confronted the Bataya police because they took his gold. And I don't know. I don't know that story. I don't know it. I don't know that one. Yeah, you know, who's that? Sprinters, let's do the dengue people, part five. Well, apparently, I've seen, I still do look at some news reports. Apparently, the news reports say the dinghy crossings are record thousands this year. Oh, it's all the same old. It's just shoveling sh shit against the tide. And that Rwanda thing, I mean, oh, let, let, I don't want to go on about the Rwanda, but I mean, that Rwanda farce, biggest joke ever. When's that going to happen? Load of crap. Bob White, what's your plans in Thailand? Songkran is normally April. In the time, stay away. Well, 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 well. Well, if I, w w I'm, I'm booted to, to be in that condo here in Udon Thani, and that will take me up until the end of April, so I'll probably be spending Songkran here. Songkran here in Udon Thani during April, so, you know, you know so I, I, I won't be going to retire during that time. Is that Australia's the same? The whole country is saying, whoa, cost of living and housing is ridiculous. And good luck to the average guy trying to get a woman. Okay, Aussie might get, Aussie, I'll read that out again. Australia's the same, the whole country is saying, whoa, because the cost of living and housing is ridiculous. And good luck to the average guy trying to get a woman. Yeah, that, that's it. I mean, see, the thing is, you know, you can be in one of the most advanced, pleasant, desirable countries in the world and you can be and yet it's not necessarily the right if it doesn't fit the criteria it's not the right country for you i remember years ago you know they, they, they done surveys you know in, in britain which country would you most like to visit anywhere in the world and australia came out time and time again i'd like to be maybe because it's as far away as you can get and it's english speaking and australia is associated with uh, you know, great weather and beaches and, and all of that. And yet people who live in Australia, like Aussie Mike, is, you know, clearly not that enthusiastic about it. So, either it's you've got to go where, wherever you feel happy. Catacol Coffee. I prefer the Jason Bond movies to James Bond. I, I like some of those Jason Bond movies, but they do your head in after a while. All this, I mean, he, he, you know, he was employed by this Biotto who now wants to kill him, and it's... it's it, it just gives you that in after a while. Ossie, my all love, my end. Ed, thanks for answering questions all about. Oh, look, okay, thanks for that, Ossie, Ossie, Mike. Anyway, cheers, mate, cheers. <laughs> Bob White, I thought the last James Bond series was excellent. Well, Daniel Craig is, I like Daniel Craig because he really, really looks like a super fit SAS man. He looks like the real deal. <laughs> definitely, definitely like, I like him. I'll see Mike, 6 p.m. Adelaide, Australia. Okay, fair comment. Uh, 6 p.m. in Australia. So what is it now? Is it about half two in the afternoon? It's going to be dinner time soon. Yeah, Easter man, song can on regular time like you done in three days, there's the 15th of April. The tire goes on longer and is a tourist attraction. Well, I should be here during that time, so I'll probably see you. So, the, so, so he does. Oh, yeah, I was living in New Dantani for eight months. Try good cafes, five minute walk from where you are. Are you staying for Songkran? It's very good atmosphere. Well, it looks like I will be here for Songkran, yeah? Yeah. Vietnam Viking. I'm in Pattaya for a weekend later. It'd be good to meet you and buy a few beers. Now, I don't know if I'll be in, I don't know where I'll be then, to be honest with you. I don't know where I'll be. Is, is, is this? Okay, let's just get... I'm going to have to... Uh, who's that? David Coleman. Eddie, are you going to yell out my name? They must all know me that by now. I'm not going to do any yelling because my voice is loud enough as it, as it, as it is. And, and um, 
the people there are so tolerant. They're nice people. I, I will come and have a meal there sometime. I've only drank beer there, but they've been very, very hospitable. Who's that? Show us song crown, Eddie. Well, I haven't, I haven't been in Thailand here in song crown, so I, I, t I tell you what, I'd have to get the GoPro out for that one, wouldn't I? Because that's waterproof. I have, get a, I have to get a waterproof camera for that one. Anyway, listen. Okay, who's that? Liam Harden. I've been traveling to Udon, Tiny, for a few nights. Okay. But I'm looking forward to it, as you seem to be enjoying it. It's a good place. It's a slow burn. It takes away... It's, I mean, Ludon Town is not a physically beautiful place. I mean, I'm, for my video, you might re recall, I arrived in Van Vyengen straight away. Wow. Blown away by the beauty of the mountains and everything. Ludon Town is not the same. It's, it doesn't have mountains around it, you, you know. But... It's a slow burner, but you get used to this place. You get used to it. It's a good place. Okay. Okay, so anyway, listen, guys. Listen, guys, I'm, I'm going to sign off now anyway. I'm going to sign off. I've been on for an hour now anyway. I'm back in Udon Sani. I've just, um, uh, yeah, you know, agreed to, to uh, get a condo for the next month. So I'm going to be in Udon Sani. Uh, yeah, you know, for the next month, that month anyway. And I like it, I like it. Listen, guys, it's Friday today, okay? Have a great day, have a great weekend and all the rest of it. And um, all the rest of it. And I'll be back soon. More videos to come, more live streams, all that kind of jazz, okay? Thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll see you soon. I'm off for something to eat now anyway. All the best, have a great weekend.